Hello Internet, I'm Fireball and welcome to a game called Prison Architect. The way that you'll generally do this is you've got these workmen here and you have to build a thing before these prisoners arrive. Best way to start this is to get grants, that is basically how you get money to actually build stuff because you have got money at the top. You do start with a little when prisoners come in and just generally for holding prisoners you get money. So I shall take the grant for a basic detention center because that just gives me enough to basically set up a normal prison. Without proper cells, it's just got a holding cell to begin with, but once I've got that, then I can move on to making individual cells for each prisoner. So if I start by getting that grant, and also an administration center, basically just to build a few offices and hire people to do research. I'll start by laying down some foundation and we'll make this area the reception just to sort of organize the prisoners to where they should be. It's a generally good place to start. And if we place a door at the front, a big nice jail door. So my workers should begin constructing that and as you can see here i've got all the goals for what i need to do to complete this grant you get a little money to start off with and then you get money for completing it so these will chop down the trees around it and then just build the foundations here you can fast forward the building of that if you want but generally i might want to just plan the building of a few other places first a good place to start probably the holding cell just to make sure i actually have a place to keep my prisoners i generally quite like a sort of layout where um you've got a bunch of buildings around a central yard i think that works quite well i believe i'm gonna build the holding cell here actually then i'll build some offices for my warden and stuff around the back here and uh, just sort of make a small corridor here for maybe if i'm gonna make a staff room at some point i believe it's generally a good idea to hire uh, some guards to begin with so when prisoners do arrive they've at least got someone holding them there Ooh. Something that I should build straight away. You can see here that they, there are these um, little flashing power symbols. Those are lights and uh, they need to actually be powered. So I should probably build a utility room so that I can generate some of my own power. Uh, so I'll just build it off to the side here. We make this room the reception. It needs an office desk, which you can get in objects here. Ah yeah, it'll highlight the things that I need. So office desk right there. It needs a chair, so we'll just put that behind the office desk. And it'll need a table for um, storing prisoner uniforms. I'll build a staff door here. That means that prisoners can't go through it, but it's fairly weak and cheap just to go into the utility room and if we build a nice big jail door for our holding cell we can also build uh, just a staff door off to the side uh, where we're going to put our offices right this has built uh, the foundation as just one big room so i think i'm gonna get a wall just to divide the two go to utilities here we can uh, build a power station for free i will slightly extend this because uh, you do also need a water pump so we just build a small extension here and then we just demolish this wall here then they should join onto one another and uh, you will have to build some capacitors around the power station to make it actually work you get one for free to start off with they are quite expensive but i like to have a few just to begin with so that i don't have to worry about that and now we have some power it has a little bit of range just to begin with so i'll just put some electrical cables over to here then run some over this way we will have to zone this off as a holding cell to begin with make a small fence around here just so that people don't escape to begin with then they've got a nice big yard and we've got plenty of space to build around we'll have to watch out so that we don't spend too much money and we can get rid of those fences when we want to Ooh, i should probably um build some metal detectors up front so that no one brings in any contraband uh build two here i'll also build a small path up because i like that aesthetically i'm actually gonna hire some more workmen just to speed this up a little these have like a big power symbol which means that they don't like get automatically wired up and they have to be directly connected to mains I should probably build some offices here ah you can do quick build here which is like uh build a basic office ah shit 
I built that a little funny, so I have to delete some bits first. I have to build out our foundation a little bit here, like that, so they've actually got room to move down the corridor. Shit, why not uh, just put out a little extra bit here? One more offices. Oh shit, we've only got like 10 hours left on this. Should probably just set up the holding cell for when uh, prisoners actually come in, and we'll just give them a nice private little toilet in the corner a normal door there and put the toilet there build a water pump station over here so that we can actually plumb that toilet in basically the things that have to be plumbed in they ha all have to be plumbed in directly uh, but the large pipes allow water to actually go through and you can only um get a certain length of small pipes off of them so i basically just put this through the middle of the prison and that should be fine for now ah we have got a bit of a problem here that there's actually no way to get into there because I haven't put a door there. So I'm going to put a big jail door here. There we go. Now everyone can get through this place and they won't be yelling that they can't go anywhere. Shit. I've got a bit of a problem here. I just need to demolish some of these walls. Great. Uh, it looks like they've started actually building the offices out of brick walls, which is really annoying for my aesthetics because this is all concrete. And now anything that I use quick build for is... Um, gonna be made out of brick have you just abandoned this place really annoying sometimes they build this quite funny we are in no way prepared for the prisoners coming back in so i might actually have to you can hear just basically say i don't want anyone in which i think is what i'm gonna have to do for the moment whilst i just get things set up we hire a warden we can actually start researching stuff uh, so we can research finance which means that we can get an accountant and we should probably after that research security so that we can get a chief ah we need to build a canteen so the prisoners can actually eat that would be a good idea so we build big canteen here and then build the kitchen sort of behind it so that it has access to deliveries here have you still not fixed this sometimes the ai are a bit stupid can you actually finish this off here no you seem incapable of doing so this is kind of a bit of a mess because they messed up the construction a bit here and it looks really annoying but it's just gonna have to be that way, I think. I'll sort out my regime here. I'll give them plenty of free time rather than locking them up all the time, because that's gonna be really annoying. Make sure that they shower first thing in the morning, and uh, try make sure that they eat three times a day. Give them some free time here, and then free time here, and then sleep there. There you go, so then they're not actually locked up for any period of time, because they get really annoyed if they just get locked up. Then build a big foundation here for the kitchen, and we'll put a staff door there. We might at some point start doing like rehab stuff, so they can actually go into there. We can actually zone the middle area off of the yard at this point so that they just basically have a big open space to go into and uh, we'll fix these walls so that they're not a fence. Zone these as a canteen and a kitchen and then we can start doing stuff there. I'll put a little back door here so that um, chefs can come and grab stuff from deliveries and uh, bring them in without having to go through the main prison. Uh, so just put a staff door here. So in the canteen, just build serving table here and then do table, bench, bench, table, bench, bench. There's not enough space for another one, so we'll do it this way. Bench, bench. And in the kitchen, cooker, a fridge and a sink. We'll put like this way around. We'll put that at the side of the kitchen. We'll make a few more cookers so that they can have plenty of food there. It doesn't seem to want me to build there, but that's annoying. I'd like to put a cooker here. Can you get rid of that? Destroy that tree stump, please, because it's really annoying me. Anyway, I'll wire these up so that they... Cookers also have the bigger electrical system. Uh, this is really getting on my nerves now, because I can't build anything there because it's saying that there's a tree stump there. Fine, I'll just build it really awkwardly like this. Oh no, it's actually letting me build a cooker there now. That was being really awkward for a second. So I think for that, you need uh, to bring a big pipe over. That should be fine. Oh, I should hire some cooks so they can get started on whatever they need to do. I'll actually make this look really nice and have the whole yard being grass with loads of paths around. Should probably hire an accountant now that I have researched finance. I'll get some more research done here. If I start researching uh, maintenance, then 
he can start researching cleaning and I can get some janitors to clean the place up. Okay, so now the whole yard has been made into grass and I'll build some paths across the place so that that doesn't get confusing. So I've gotten uh, my grants for um, basically putting these two in an office, which means I have a bit more money to play around with. Should probably build a shower. And I'll put that right next to the canteen. You can later on build like showers in everyone's cells, but that's quite expensive to do. And at the moment, don't have everyone's cells ready. Actually, you know what's a good idea? I'll get back the money for that foundation, and I'll just put the shower actually like right behind here. And then if we just put a jail door there oh and we've now got a foreman and now that foreman can go and research janitors and we'll start researching security for our warden okay what is this you need to actually build a wall here jesus christ and then we'll just put a wall in the middle for our showers we'll have to put a drain on the door uh, so that the water doesn't spill out then we'll get a bunch of shower heads just along here one there one there one there one there one there and then some down here that should be fine for now i should once i build that shower be able to actually hold some prisoners i'll just build a small pipe off here i should make this all go like that there we go and now we've got a shower there hang on i need to zone it as an actual shower and we get our grant for that so now if I just take another grant, I should be able to get some prisoners in. And I'll go for cell block A, which is basically um, I'm making a bunch of cells. And prison... no. I'll go for inmate health and well-being, which basically means building a hospital and uh, hiring a psychologist. So we just bring in some prisoners we'll go for eight to begin with so basically for every six normal security people we get two minimum security right so that should be just a basic prison to begin with we should probably start on our big cell block which is gonna allow us to actually hold more prisoners we just researched security and cleaning so we will hire a few janitors uh, just to keep the place nice and tidy and then we'll hire a chief of security so that we can actually make our guards do some patrols uh, so we'll get two more guards we'll start researching deployment actually which allows us to say oh this guard will go in this room and then they'll stay there just keep an eye on prisoners uh, and whilst we're at it i think for our yard time we should probably build a few foam booths just at the side here and a couple of weight benches just to keep them nice and healthy so here we should probably start building our big cell block that should be wide enough for our cells just build it like that for now and we'll do some quick build cells here to just give us the basic sort of cell layout just make a little bit more of an extension here then we'll have one two three four five six seven i will need just that a little bit more then right and we should probably build a door right at the front uh, with some metal detectors on it just in case people are bringing in con contraband and that should give us the capacity of 15 that we need oh we'll have to plumb all this in and so we build a big pipe across here then we can just run small pipes off it all okay this is going to be a little bit of a mess for now uh, but this should be done by the time prisoners arrive oh and electricity we'll need to run that over too and we'll start researching health and psychology for our next grant basically what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put a psychologist office here so i'm going to make a staff door there so that prisoners can't access the rest of these but they can go into the psychologist's office. I'll just build this as a basic office to begin with. And then I'll um, make that a normal door instead of a staff door. Oh, and that prison block is uh, still being annoying. I don't think it's actually built all the walls yet. I don't think it wants to because it's being really annoying for me at the moment. It's actually making me do this all manually because the quick build's sometimes a little bu buggy. Oh, you are, you're actually moving people into these cells already. That's really annoying. And I'm going to deploy a bunch of guards. So have one in the canteen, have one in the holding cell, have one in the normal cell, and have one in the shower. 
Actually, no, I should have one in reception too. So I'll just hire one more guard. Can you actually finish the construction of this place? There we go. Now I think that should be all the cells fixed. Can you actually do your job, builders? Instead of just leaving it halfway through. Concrete floor all over this. Where they were meant to be building the foundation should be fixed. Right, so now we've got capacity of 16 cells and we finished that cell block. So I'll just move that up to that capacity and I'll uh, build a path over to here. Has my ward, yeah, my warden's finished um, researching psychology. So I should now be able to get a psychologist in here and I'll just build two metal detectors outside this prison block into a normal door, dismantle that door and build a second normal door here. You can actually click on all of these prisoners and get info on how long they'll be here, what they actually did, and what their name is. And then you can change what security you want them to be, uh, for whatever reason. And you can later on zone each area, so say you could have a maximum security block that you heavily guard, and then put all your maximum security people in there, but that seems a little advanced for me at the moment. But anyway, this is sort of a, a basic prison, and as you can see it's not perfect, but I've tried my best to make it work. Later on you can build loads of rehab stuff if you want. You can make it a super max security prison and have loads of solitary cells. But at the moment this is just a sort of um, basic setup, if you will, where you've got all the cells ready and all the basic amenities here. So I think I shall wrap up there because I have been recording for about an hour now. I have been Firebolt and this has been Prison Architect. Nice little indie uh, build a prison them up. If that's a genre. <laughs> Farewell. Thanks for watching. We'd really appreciate if you support us on various things, obviously subscribing on YouTube, Twitch, following us on Twitter or Facebook. We have a Discord server that you can join and talk to us and other people, and a website where you can check out blog posts. And obviously this isn't free for us to run, so if you'd like to support us financially, we have a Patreon page where you can donate monthly and get subscriber rewards. We also have a Stream Elements tipping page where you can make one-off donations. The links are all in the description. Farewell. See you next time.